<sighs> I can't help but remember what the forests in the north look like from the sky. They're, they're so majestic. These trees and glades hide horrors of all manner. Watch your backs. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. So peaceful and serene, it seems. It is a lie. The leaves and branches hide a savagery we sapiens can only aspire to. I find the great outdoors chaotic and dirty. It needs a shaping will to slap the beasts into proper order. Tis passing strange what you primes call these forests, but it has a serene beauty of a sort as well. I dislike the wilderness. It lacks structure. I wish I could spend more time in the forest. Oh, it feels so alive. I am at peace in the outdoor places, though it never seems to last. Ah, home sweet home. Wait, I don't live here. A pleasant enough setting, although I've had little time in my life to pay proper homage to beauty. A bloodthorn getting bloody forest, uh, this carnegie, the bloody tree huggers and daisy eaters, uh, burn them all. The beauty of the wilderness can be deceptive. I've defeated much that is evil in just such a place. You know, I think the forest likes, Boo. I'm not used to such wide open spaces. Auntie never went anywhere that wasn't carpeted. Being in the woods always reminds me of the high forest. I like it. It is so peaceful here. My mind is calm and my heart is not so heavy. Shrubbery, flowers, weeds, all of it. <sighs> it's good to be in a place where things are a bit simpler. I am still unused to all this green and fragrant brightness. Part of me yet looks for the hidden spider's web amongst all this. My thieving skills will be of little use here. What wealth does a bear drop in the woods? I... I never saw much of the cities from the circus. Are they all so crowded like this? Hmm. I don't think I've ever looked upon the bustle of the city without keeping a watchful eye out for evil. It seems... quieter. <sighs> a dank pool of base corruption, if ever there was one. Why, if not for the order, the gods would surely smite man for such sins. It is interesting to me that the most ardent builders of cities look to nature for their forms and tools. The city is no different from the forest. Men, dwarves, elves, orcs, we are all beasts. Some just have stronger leashes than others. The city changes, but the fools within are always the same. Ay, the lifeblood of a city. <laughs> it ebbs and flows the same on any plane. Ah, yes, civilization. I can work with this. I don't feel like I fit in with the people in the city anymore. I have no patience for cities. Our stay had best be a short one. Hmm, I'd wager the turnip market's making a killing today. Where men gather, a bustle of chaos ensues. I would save them all if I could. And I think to call this civilization? <laughs> Blasted bloody humans! The corruption in the city is widespread, even amongst my own people. It is a pity. Cities always teem with evil and decay. Let's give it a good shake and see what falls out! I don't like cities much. They're built on the backs of the unfortunate. Are you going to make me cast spells here? There are a lot of people around. This place is so full of motion and noise. It is difficult to focus on what really matters. <laughs> These are all pawns. Pawns collected for the use of whoever knows how to place them on the board. I have had enough of people. They try my patience. I left all this noise and crowds for very good reasons. I'm beginning to remember them. The stink of the collected riven. How oh, I despise them all. Ah, yes, the city. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes? Oh, we have such stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. Ah, it is good to adventure in such a place. The blood quickens knowing that evil is so near. These places can be home to the harshest of nature's creatures. 
They will not suffer intruders gracefully. Anything that gets in our way will be buried in this place's rubble. Could we not have hired some poor fools to do this for us? This is no place for a man of my stature. Beneath the earth our fates await us. And just think, we shan't need go far to lie in our graves. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Ah, this reminds me of the turnip cellars. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnips still in the corner. Keep a wary eye about. One never knows the form that danger can take in a place such as this. Shuddily made and subtly maintained, but good killing grounds nevertheless. You can feel the wrongness in such a place. It has seeped into the very rocks themselves. A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. I really don't like this. How are we helping the less fortunate trudging around in here? I sense great evil. Fabled treasure. Terrible danger. Probably some spiders. Let us do what needs to be done and be done with this place. There is power to be found in places such as this. You must watch your every move in a place such as this. Dark, foul magic is drawn to these pits like flies. I swim in memories in such a place as this. Most unpleasant memories. Be doubly careful. I'm sure all manner of stupid mousetraps await our toes in the dark. <laughs> you might think it's silly, but at least in the daytime you can see what's coming. Ah, tis a fine enough day to travel. Many a battle has been fought on a day just such as this. Another day of sun or cloud. The great cycles continue. Each day I live is another day I stole from the gods. Another day and more aimless stumbling about. Hmm. The sky, tis a brilliant azure shade. Pity you primes have only the one sun. I used to love sunlight, but this is my time now. Glad to see another day. I think the light hurts my eyes, though. I welcome each day we see. Some are not so lucky. You know, I'd like the daytime a lot better if it didn't mean a griffin has a clear sighting from five miles away. Evil appears deceptively insignificant in the daylight. Arr! Tis too bright out. Where did I put me ale? It feels good to be traveling in the open during the day. Adventure and virtue mesh well, I think. Ah, I prefer the bright of day. Evil must be able to see the justice I dispense. Another day of freedom. I never felt like this back in the ballrooms of home. It's a fine day for fireballs. The sun is just, but merciless. In this light... It seems all the insects that prey on the living have retreated to their shadows. <sighs> a fine day to be traveling, I would think. It's been a while since I was on the open road. Ugh, this light. Still, it burns me. What do they say about daylight and thieves? The night hides evils that you can barely imagine. Good thing I stand ready against any who would dare to strike against us. Even in the darkest hours, nature is awake. Would that more of us had the eyes to see. Glory awaits in darkness. Intelligent peoples do not wander around looking for trouble in the evening hours. Ah, night has laid her shroud upon us. A perfect time for a warm fire and a story to regale you all. Were you not so distracted by pressing quests, that is. Might as well be up and about. I don't think I'd sleep anyway. Nature has many children that call the darkness home. I am not one of them. <sighs> I've had this little problem ever since I was a wee gnome. When it gets dark, everybody glows red. Frightens a child something fierce. Tom the true, the brave, fill your servant with courage enough to banish darkness and see evil wherever it may lie. Darkness! <laughs> Good for Stalken, and having your way with the lass, eh? Oh, 
call me a halfling if you must, but I find myself incredibly hungry at the moment. Strange things go bump in the night, but none bump bigger than Minsk! I'm not comfortable wandering around in the dark. The shadows could hold anyone, anything. An evening stroll under the stars. When do we get attacked? Once, Sulune's light calmed my heart and cleared my mind. No longer. <laughs> darkness is friend to all with evil intent. Beware. Darkness is murder's most favored companion. Darkness shrouds those who would creep up on us. So be wary. There is no roof to this world. I feel as if I shall fall into this sky of yours sometimes. Ah, my skills are at their best while under this blanket of darkness, my friend. Ugh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? A bottle of wine, a blanket, a little music as we rest? Are these things too much to ask? I demand that we stop. The day was not this long even when I led soldiers in the order. Each day's cycle must include rest. All of nature's creatures suffer without it. I require rest. I demand we stop. Oh, the lids grow heavy. Have we not the time to sleep and dream but even a little? Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Wish we could stop for a bit. Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Oh, it's long past time for turnip tea. A little rest will shake the stew from our eyes and ache from our legs. The spirit is willing, my friend, but this old and battered body demands rest. When the day be done, the day be done. I wish rest, no argument. Oh, I am willing to continue if needed. But I would vote to stop and rest. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. <coughs> I'm not accustomed to these long days. Could we stop and rest? <sighs> My mind's even foggier than usual. Can we stop? <sighs> My eyelids are heavy. I think I'm out of spells. Bedtime? We should take some time to rest now, lest we lose the opportunity. Enough. I no longer have immortal energies to sustain me. I... tire. I have stamina and patience, but both are wearing thin. It's time to rest. Oh, how long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? I say we stop now. I must have rest soon, my friend. I have no wish to be weary when my skills call for careful concentration. I didn't realize there'd be so much standing around. <laughs> hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. Hmm. Sounds like my days in the order. Why do we pace about when there is evil to be fought? Oh, there is no glory in watching the grass grow. The seasons move with patient elegance, but we are just lazy. Quick in our step. There are hundreds. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people we could be slaying right now, and we do nothing. Inactive outward, inactive inward. Why do I suffer, these fools? Tis dreary, my raven, this time we spend here tapping toes. I have business to attend to. Why are we wasting time doing nothing? If we're going to do nothing, let's at least find a safer place to do it. I'm withering away just standing here. Let's get going. It is strange that we stand about when there is so much to do. Ho oh, hum, ho oh, hum. Oh, look, did the grass just grow another half inch? Wonders. I am not one to complain, but surely I can be of some greater use here. If I've wished to sit about all day, I'll do it in a proper pub with an ale in my hand. I was never one to enjoy sitting still for long. I hope you shall have something for me to do soon. Boo must have his exercise, lest he bite us all in hard-to-reach places. I could sit around doing nothing back at the keep. Let's get going. Fidgeting over here. Fidget, fidget, fidget. This place is seared in my memory for all time. Can we get moving? This is what you consider productive use of our time? Do you prefer we stand around like this often? 
Standing around, standing around. I feel as if I'm in the military once again. The drow are never this idle with their time. <laughs> it is either feast or famine with you. We are either hurried beyond endurance or bored witless, it seems. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Verily. <laughs> I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. We are the embodiment of balance. The greater cycle will turn evenly with our influence. I had not thought this group capable of pleasing me, but uh, I am impressed. You make pleasant company, my raven. I'll be glad to tarry a while in your motley group. Now I remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. Our actions are good and will serve the greater balance. I haven't been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirians sent the price of turnips through the roof during the onion famine. I approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. Aye, this be a grand enough lot. Mayhap I won't be needing to kill y'all any time soon. <laughs> I'm most pleased with the efforts this party is making. I'm proud to be a part of it. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! <laughs> It's just like I thought it would be. Helping others and doing good things. It appears I made the right decision in joining you after all. <laughs> I'm pleased that you came across me when you did. This group does good things. I find this a most satisfactory arrangement. Things are going well for us, yes? It's a dangerous path, but we manage well for ourselves. <sighs> this isn't as wonderful as I thought it would be traveling with you. I don't agree with what you're doing. If you don't change things soon, well then, I'll just have to to leave. Oh, mayhap it is time I thought of leaving. I can almost endure no more of your actions. Hm. I am barely convinced that honor even holds a place of importance here. I shall see and judge for myself. Truly your actions lack virtue. Change your ways quickly or suffer my wrath. A momentary lapse, perhaps. But I fear this course will upset the greater picture. We must strive to maintain balance within ourselves. I fear our spirits list to one side, as the wheat that struggles against the wind. We must calm the storm with balance if we are to reap the harvest. Could my opinion of this group drop any lower? Evidently so. I warn you. I cannot abide this charity. It is not to my tastes at all. Traveling with an angered Cambion might almost be more interesting than the time I'm spending with you, I would imagine. I see it now, the forces of entropy breaking our companionship apart. And it cannot come too soon, quoth this raven. I'll stick with you no matter what. But we should still try and be decent to people. I think all this has really changed you. Come on, this isn't like us at all. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. This is no longer a matter that can be brushed aside. Change your ways or we shall be at odds. Being around this group too long is sort of like having the callum shite itch, isn't it? Except for the uncomfortable burning sensation and the rash. But still, I don't think I like your attitude much. You have all the makings of a nasty griffin, which reminds me, you need a bath. You must weigh your actions carefully, my friend. The path to evil is far shorter than you might think. I will countenance no further breach of virtue. I will not stand idly and watch as travesty unfolds. I've had better times drown and face first in gutter water, bleeding from every orifice, don't you know? Ye'd best change your tune, for me axe is itching for a swing or two, and I've been no likely to stop it. I trust that this current direction we're on will not continue. I am warning you. As a defender of the right, I will not tolerate this sort of behavior. This behavior must not continue. Feel the burning stare of my hamster and change your ways. <coughs> this is not right. 
Change our course, or I will have to apply a considerable wallop of virtue. This isn't right. We're supposed to be better than this. If we don't change our ways, I'm going to have to leave. I cannot tolerate this. Uh, we should kill something soon. My impatience grows. This is hardly what I expected. If this continues, I see little point in my remaining with your group. We are a poor match. Yeah. I left the forest to work with fools. I must be mad. I've little enough like of working with others, and your choices are making this even less pleasant. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. I am beginning to tire of spending my time with fools. I'm not worried. I'm sure these setbacks are only temporary. You had best alter your thinking, my friend, or you can forget about the company of Yoshimo. I'm leaving. I can't believe you are so horrible. I'd have been better off at the circus. Enough! I can take no more of this company. From here on, we are as enemies. I look to the greater picture, and I see we are tipping the balance. I am sorry, but I cannot help you any further. No, I do not feel this is working out. You waste opportunity after opportunity. I will stand no more. So, it has come, my raven. I'll leave this foul partnership, and it shall be as if we've never been acquainted. Try not to trip over yourself as you continue your dreary way. I? I cannot believe the change in this group. For the greater balance, I... I must oppose you. That's it. Time to move on. Places to go and all that. The way you're going, you're just going to end up like Golodon the Unmanned. And I didn't want to see that the first time. I have seen enough. Your soul is forfeit, and I can overlook this no more. You're all piles of stinking pig's bladders. I'll have no more of this insipid lot. You are a violent, inconsiderate lout, and our association is at an end. Boo can stand only so much. You... you're nothing like I thought. I will have no part of you. I can't take any more of this. I'm not judging, really, I'm not. It's just that... Oh, by the hells, I am judging. How can you keep going on like this? I have to leave. You've hurt way too many people. I have to get out of here. I can take no more of this. Do what you must. I can bear your presence no longer. That's it. I can take no more of this damnable association. To the abyss with you all. I have no desire to remain in the company of the witless. Very well. If you will not listen to sense, I have no compelling reason to remain. You... you want me to lead? Uh, I'll try my best. Are you sure? I had enough of leadership in the Order. Oh, very well. But it's a weak vacation for everyone. <laughs> oh, you have obviously given considerable thought to the future of this group. I accept the charge. Gladly. I will lead with gentle certainty. As the river shapes the rocks it flows through. You have made a wise decision. We will reach new and greater heights under my command. It's about time you monkeys realized who should be leader. So, <laughs> my part in this little play has changed, has it? Tis a role I relish. Follow me, then. We charge on! Oh, come on. I'm not cut out for the leadership stuff. As I have said before, you could not have made a better choice. Well, now, this is a fine turn of events. I haven't led a party since, well, since Uncle Scratchy turned sick with the pox and put me in charge. He just didn't trust the dwarf, you see. Hmm, hopefully this time works out better than the last. I shall do everything in my power to keep this group safe and on the path of right. Oi, now this be more like it. The first to disobey me orders gets an axe in their skull. In Avarine's name, I shall do all I can to lead you through these perilous times. Minsk will lead with blade and boot. Boo will take care of the details. I shall strive to help all those under me. You understand that I'm volatile and occasionally unreasonable. Okay, great! This is how it was meant to be. Let no one bar our path. Well... 
If that's your wish, I'll not shirk the responsibility. I have no particular desire for the position, though. I see you have learned much in your short lifespan. An odd choice. Have you been hit in the head with a rock as of late? I in the front? Well, it is your call. Oh, this is going to hurt you a lot more than me. I... I won't let my friends be hurt. You shall suffer my wrath. The silence of nature will claim you. Ha! I'll rip you apart, you way-faced cur. Cry for your lives. They are over. You can do nothing but die. May our deeds be sung through the ages. For the Doom God, I strike a blow. If I have to fight to get out of here, so be it. Oh, I'll show you a fight. Nature, take the life she gave. Beware, your knees are mine. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> this isn't boring. I'll give it that. Good is on our side this day. Let's see what your guts be looking like. But time we got to business. Blood and glory. Now ye die. Arverine, guide my blade. Go for the eyes, Boo. Go for the eyes, Yal. Feel the backhand of justice. Great fun, <laughs> right, Boo? For the needy, I will do what I must. I command pure chaos. Kinda. Victory unclear. Destruction certain. Death comes for you. Feel its icy breath. <laughs> we children of Ball cannot be stopped. So be it. I am your doom. Lil Alul, for Shah. No mercy for those who oppose us. Pay attention. You will get no second chance. Fear is for those of no confidence. We, w we will continue this another day. Gods of nature, protect me. I'll not die to incompetence. Best to make a swift escape now, my raven. No, 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 I'm not going to end up dead in this place. I have to get out. I have to get to the surface. I will not fall here. Discretion, not valor. Discretion, discretion. I must fall back and regroup. Mar, there'll be time for this battle another day. Alvarine, protect me. Despair not. I will inspire you by charging blindly on. Oh, I, I just wanted to help. They are too strong for me. I cannot continue. <sighs> This is the time for discretion, I think. We must flee to fight another day. Time for a quick exit, I would say. Oh, I, I need some healing. Oh, it hurts so much. I need speedy assistance, my friend, or I shall not be able to fight on. Death is natural in the grand scheme, but this is not my time. Help me, please. It'll take more than a scratch to stop Dawn Ilkhan. Ah! Go ahead, then, you gods of death. Take me. Oh. Oh. Uh, I could use some help here, fools. At last! Oblivion! Oh. Oh. Repair me quickly, good raven. Or oh, bid me fond farewell while you can. Come on now. Don't let me suffer in this place. We've both had enough of that. I'm weak enough without my wounds. Someone give me a hand over here, please. Oh, I will require healing if I am to be of use to the group. Don't forget to raise me. Oh, uh, don't mean to startle you or anything, but all this blood spurting about is actually mine. The pain nearly overwhelms me. If you have aid to offer, I would gladly partake of it. Get me some healing, you blasted fool! Do it now! I am wounded terribly. I need to be healed if I am to continue on much longer. I must get aid soon. Boo is 
Too young to have to avenge me. I I'm afraid I'm the needy one now. Help me. Please. Please! Someone! Anyone! I'm in quite a bit of pain here. I fear I am done. Gamaz, my brother, I will see you soon. No! I... I refuse! Healing! Quickly! If you've some healing arts in your possession, I could certainly use them now. No! It cannot end like this! I shall not allow it! Ah! A little help here. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Faster than Chick Tika Fast Paws. I lost my spell. Sorry. Point the sword and I shall strike. The best leaders also follow. Long live the Order of the Most Radiant Heart, for I draw from the Pool of Right and strike in their name. I am here to serve. Nature is at the ready. A bird in hand gathers no moss, or some such. I have taken something, though everything belongs to nature. I should use nature's magic. It is more reliable than this. A trap is set. May its victim be deserving. Kill them all and have done with it. This requires a firm hand. I am Dorniel Khan. I do as I will. You do not give me orders. A blind enemy is a beaten one. Go bother someone else. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Yes, master. What should I fetch now? Tedious monkey work. A waste of my talents. Fine, fine. Just stop pestering me. Edwin do this. Edwin do that. Somebody get this jerk a banana. I prefer to attack more directly, but a trap will do for now. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. Readier than a red-cheeked maiden, my friend. I do not care much for being prodded all the time. <whistles> I shall be glad to dance to your tune, if you but learn to play. Wouldn't you rather tune a sonnet, some grand melody? Fine, have it your way, my raven. What was once yours is now mine alone. Just like old times. Well, except for the torture and all. Now you see me, now you don't. Nature's servant awaits. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. What? Is there a griffin about? You know, this reminds me of that time way back. I can't. I'm allergic. Well, all right. I'm not that allergic. I think we make a fine partnership, like Drist and Wolfgar, Elminster and Volo. <laughs> we should go into the mobile vegetable peddling business together. I am yours to direct, my friend. Duty calls, I see. I pledge my service and my life, if need be. In Torm's name, I shall serve. I have buried many fallen comrades. Let us endeavor to remain hale this day. We shall strike a blow deep into evil's heart. There is no more worthier cause. What do you want, groundling? The axe be bloody ready! Bark your orders already. A best be paid well for this. Aye, I'll do as you wish, for now. And later I'll split your gut open. <laughs> Aye, the dwarf will bloody do it. One word about size and you can forget it. You point, I punch. Swords, not words. Minsk and Boo stand ready. Every hamster has his day. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. Boo says, What? Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. Stand back for justice. See battle, Boo? Run, Boo, run! Make way, villainy! Hero coming through! Bat kicking for goodness! The bigger they are, the harder I hit! Don't teach my hamster to suck eggs! None shall see me. 
though my battle cry may give me away. I turned to shield Boo and have lost my spell. I am not sorry. Is that all? I I'd hoped for more. If only I could do as much for all in need of me. I try so hard. Happy to help. Uh, to try to help, anyway. Simple and surge-free. Ah, oh, did everyone see that? Boy, I'm good. Ah, oh, for the love of crumb cake. That wasn't even close, was it? <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens. Isn't this great? You don't want to know how many eyelashes I had to yank out to make this work. <laughs> I shall carve a path if need be. <laughs> Not what I would have done. What if we were to return to Baldur's Gate together? What would people say, do you think? <laughs> I? Something you need? Uh, fine, fine. Oh, giving orders, are we? So be it. But involve me with any filthy magic, and I swear there'll be a hell to pay. I am yours to command. Shah guides my hand. Victory shall be ours. You know this. Trust is for the foolish and the dead. I serve Shah above all others, but I shall remain with you for now. What do you need? I am skilled in avoidance. You require my counsel, yes? I can dance on the head of a pin as well. You're right behind me, right? hi -ya! <laughs> The tourists love that stuff. No, I can't carry any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. I can carry no more. What was given is now upon the ground. I can carry no more. I must place my burden upon the earth. I am not some beast of burden. I'll carry no more of your trinkets. I will carry no more. Find your trinket upon the ground. I can carry not another stitch. Let it fall to the ground, then. Sorry, but I couldn't hold that last item. It's on the ground. I have too much in my pack as it is. You'll have to pick that up off the ground. I'd carry the world if I could, but you'll have to package it smaller. I'm out of room. I'll carry no more. It be on the ground if you want it back. I simply have no room. Your item is on the ground. I have had to drop what you gave me. I have only two arms and no more space. I'm not accustomed to such loads. I've had to drop something. Can we lose some of this trash? I can't carry any more. Each new item restricts my movement further. I can carry no more. Look, I have no space for any more. I've placed your item on the ground. I will carry no more. You may scrounge for what I have dropped upon the ground. I must apologize, but I can carry no more. I have set your item upon the ground.